Welcome to another Storm Effects video. We're going to explain how you can set up a motion capture environment in your office. Um, and we're going to use the Xsense motion capture technology. We're going to start with uh, an empty suit. And with me here is Leon. We're going to explain what what is required. Um, at the moment, I'm putting the sensors into the suit. So I turn the suit inside out. Make it makes it easier to put the sensors in, and this process takes uh, roughly 20 minutes. So the whole, well, configuration process um, properly takes another 20 minutes as well, I would say. So altogether, in in less than an hour, for for sure, you're ready to go. <clears throat> and the cabling um, takes takes quite some time but then again it needs to be it needs to be precise so that in the end you don't have any problems because it's all without without cameras it's purely inertial acceleration what are we doing now uh, I'm turning the suit back around the right way um, and as you can see those uh, two receivers uh, plug in by USB into into your laptop um, though they talk with these uh, receivers on the back of the suit. Why do we need to measure, take the measurements? Um, so that the XN software uh, can uh, match the skeleton, uh, resize the skeleton to uh, the same dimensions as your actor. Mm. So sensors on the head, sensors on, on hands and feet. Um, I think you have to be quite meticulous with the feet. Yeah, in total there's 17 sensors uh, throughout the suits and feet, hands and uh, head. Okay, so the sensors are going online now, so they, they're turning green and we should see any moment now the, the, the model come through. You'll notice that the skeleton comes through or uh, all of the rotations are wrong. Um, this is because uh, we've yet to perform the calibration and we're yet to enter the dimensions of our actor. So you'll notice I'm entering the two main uh, dimensions that the software needs, which are body height and arm span, and it can extrapolate the other dimensions based on those two dimensions. Okay. So once we've applied that, we will um, move on to the. We're actually saving out a, a dimensions file for our actor, and then we'll move on to the calibration. We're going to do an end pose, uh, the most important pose. It's the only pose, the only calibration we need. And as you can see, there's instructions coming up on the screen for the actor and our calibration is complete green light and we're ready to start recording I think that's what we are doing next here and I, yep, I'm clicking record right there hmm. and spinning around means it's recording and I'll click it again to, to finish the recording I'm opening up my recording and Playing it back. While the live feed is still active in the background, I think that's um, important to mention. <clears throat> and everything becomes more exciting when you feed it directly into Motion Builder, I think, where you can preview um, the scene um, that you want to use. So currently we are using a cartoon character and um, the the character, the whole scene is not aware that there is any motion capture going on at all. So I think um, Xsense provides a plugin to feed all data directly into Motion Builder, right? Yeah, at the moment we've got uh, a, the, our actor in the suit, which is being fed through live um, to the Motion Builder plugin, and that's going to be applied to our character. Okay, so essentially both both objects are not aware of each other so they need to to be linked together and I think this is the final stage right we can record our motion capture in motion builder as well and along with um, camera information that type of thing mm -hmm. so it's great for pre-visualization
you know, you can see the whole environment before, yeah, be, while you're motion capturing. Um, and uh, we wanted to provide a little bit of um, um, interaction with objects. So um, we are dragging a box and in real life in the office it was a chair. <clears throat> so Maya sits on a, sits down, takes takes a seat and same happens with the character. Yeah, we're just positioning the box um, at the same location as her, as the seat. We didn't spend too much time with that. Um, so now Maya is going to pick up a virtual book or, or similar. It's um, We only recorded one movement to, because I, I think everybody is, is aware of how, how motion capture works. Um, it's more the setup setup face that we wanted to, to um, show you here. Um, so we're going to do the whole thing again. Um, so Maya in a bit is going to stand up, walk to a virtual shelf, pick up a book and walk back. So that's pretty much it. And that's all happening live. Yep. Well, that was our little presentation. Thank you very much for watching. And well, see you next time.